Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Stevie's Reviews. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the Saber Optical RGB Gaming Mouse from Crosser. Crosser. Um, as you can see, it's sexy. Nice changing of lights and stuff. It has everything that a mouse and more than you need, probably. Uh, I actually do like this mouse for the simple fact of the lights matches my keyboard and stuff, so it's I find it pretty cool that way. This is the optical RGB. There is also a laser RGB as well in this mouse. The difference is um, the optical RGB is six thousand four hundred DPI. The laser RGB is 8200 dpi. I have the, this is the optical one. I actually didn't even realize that there was a difference until I was actually doing this video and I noticed that there was a laser RGB and the optical. If I knew there was a difference, I probably would have went for the laser one. But this one works perfectly. I can't fault it. The only thing is, see if we try and use it on white, it doesn't really work. That's just some of the features of it there. That's that controls your DPI. You can just turn them up and turn them down just by flick of a flick of a switch kind of thing. Well, press of a button more more or less. That's just your forward and backward buttons. I show these more in a wee bit more detail in the interface part. That button there, I don't use it for nothing. It's actually you can uh Apply it to any any action you want, kind of thing. I have not done it yet. I heard people do in Arma Three. They put it for the sniper button. I think it's for Arma Three. I I don't mess with it. I fucking can't be arsed with it. There's the interface. It's so easy as well. Like straightforward. Crosshair have really pulled everything out here. That's just all the as your backward, forward, and stuff. It's just your buttons, your DPI up, like I said, your DPI down, middle button. Well, that's as I said, I haven't got that assigned yet. You can create your new profiles, import profiles, all the rest. Uh, that en enables, disables the, the mouse just by clicking that. Uh, you can update your f uh, firmware there, easy enough. Does it automatically too, by the way, but that's just in case something screwed up or you missed something. Uh, that's your light. Uh, that's for the back of the mouse, the, the logo. And there's your different effects, and just have it one solid color. It's pretty straightforward and easy to change. A couple of other wee different effects there. You can change them to any colors you want. your pulsating change those colors to anything you want to you can have it a fast slow medium just all by wee clicks that's obviously your uh, middle mouse button slice scroll wheel you change do the same same setup as that make it slow make it medium fast whatever change the different colors different settings as well I normally keep mine mostly on the rainbow and that's those those lights are actually under your left finger uh, mouse button so you, you know what i mean just, i don't really i didn't even know they were there <laughs> you don't really see them but that, that that's your uh dpi you can set it at whatever high and low you want for each uh for each button there and you can set your defaults as well you can change those lights as well to any colour you want. That's your pointer speed, slow, fast. Too fast is just ridiculous, you can't even see it. <laughs> I actually have the keyboard as well. As you, as you, I've, already, uh, I've already done a video of that if you want to go and look at it. But uh, I have, see that uh, at the bottom left there, uh, Q-Link. I have that enabled, whereas, so I have colors coming, say a red color, from the left of my keyboard, 
so the left moves right across to the right of my keyboard then it moves on to the mouse and if say I have a blue is coming behind it, it you know what I mean the blue follows it then the mouse turns blue and it's actually a cool effect especially once they're sitting beside each other it looks really good but uh, that's everything for this video. Thank you very much for watching and please check back often. I will be doing videos on a regular basis, hopefully, fingers crossed. But thank you anyway. All the best. Bye bye.